Welcome to Entrepreneur India. Welcome to India also. Yeah, good evening. Oh, no, no. I've been in India for the last 20 years, so maybe this is my uh, at least 15 uh, visit in India. Okay. Uh, each time it's new because I've not been there for four years. And in four years, many things happen, especially in, uh, in uh, Hyderabad. The city has uh, grown up like crazy. And it's always very, uh, very interesting and uh, very booming. Uh, there's so much energy in this country. Uh, I love it. <laughs> And Mr. Monin, you are a third generation founder. You have been running this 111 year old brand. Right. So there's a, this whole legacy behind the brand Monin. Will you just take us through that? Sure. Uh, so it was created by my grandfather uh, just before World War Two, uh, World War One, sorry, in uh, 1912. And at that time, my uh, grandfather was just uh, buying a, a cask with a cognac, all liquors, not doing by himself. Uh, and then World War I started, you know, in uh, 19, uh, 1914 till 1918. So he really started the business after World War I. And, and then he started to, he had a lot of also energy, so he built the, the plant at that time. And uh, in middle of Bourges, very close to the, like uh, 200 meters from the big cathedral, and, and he was starting to produce, it produced mainly liqueurs and spirits. And uh, the, the syrups came only after World War II in uh, 1936. Yeah. Uh, and my father were, were, was a prisoner during the World War II. Mm -hmm. And he came back uh, at that time, uh, at, the, at the end of the war. And uh, he, he started to realize that uh, liqueurs was not enough. so he, he, he wanted to launch some, some uh, flavors, so he launched the three main flavors. I still have the bottle, uh, the original bottle in my office. Uh, pineapple, uh, lemon, and uh, strawberry. Which is the three main uh, flavors that's uh, still uh, with low, I mean, from 1936, in fact. That's funny, oh. it's original on the label. And uh, from there, uh, so the main target was to to distribute the, what we were producing around Bourges, 100 kilometers, and then uh, 200 kilometers to reach Paris. Uh, so step by step, uh, and the big years were really at uh, that time in the in the 50s, early 60s. That's where really we we grew and and, and uh, went from uh, regional to national. And then we started to uh, to export, and the first country was uh, Malta Island, small island in the middle of. Uh, uh, Mediterranean Sea, mm -hmm. and so we are still uh, uh, working with these people. It's also the fourth generation, yeah. uh, so we're still working with them. Uh, small, small island, but uh, you know it's a part of our roots as well. It's funny. So they love the they love the challenge, and, and step by step, country by country, really we grew worldwide. And of course, we for, from uh, Europe we went to Asia, then also we went the other way. Mm -hmm going uh, west to USA okay. and, and USA you such a potential so after a few few years so we enter USA in 93 and in 96 95 we decided to build a, brand, uh, uh, a plant okay. and uh, within six months we did build a very small plant okay. uh, so we started to produce uh, early January 96 mm -hmm. and from there we that was really the big step in, in, the, in the story, uh, in the money's history. And, and from, uh, so from Florida, it was in Florida, close to Tampa. So we went, of course, uh, north, uh, going to, to the big, big city, up to New York, to the west, to California. And then from the west also, we, we were seeing uh, Japan again, but other countries in Asia. So country by country, it looks uh, fast, but it, of course it, it took uh, 35 years, you know, mm -hmm. to to reach the, the point where we are today with 160 distributors worldwide. Uh, and each time we were we really uh, we were the, the pioneer and introducing the, the way of uh, uh, making cocktail with non-alcoholic product and concentrates. Uh, and uh, so every in every country we were entering, we were discovering new tastes, that means new flavors. And, and we also increased the number of flavors 
when uh, every time we were entering a new country, we were discovering new, 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 new use. Uh, like, 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 like right exactly. <laughs> like Japan was a uh, uh, cherry blossom. In Brazil was a uh, jabuticaba. Uh, every country has its own uh, specific uh, spices or plant or fruits. Okay. And, uh, like you just mentioned, I mean, uh, going local, I mean, uh, putting exactly. local flavors in the global market is very right. essential. So yep. Apart from that, any other learnings you had while building this global brand? Uh, where you also what really helped us is when we decided to 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 build a plant in the U.S. and then to become a local really and 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 uh, I always said the story of an uh, American visiting France uh, 20 years ago and seeing the, the in a bar seeing the the money syrup say oh American products yeah and that's that was fantastic yeah. um, yeah, and so really uh, the the fact to to be producing in the U.S. really helped us to for, for the, the recognition of the brand, mm -hmm. and uh, so in uh, in 2006 we did the same with uh, Malaysia. Okay. Uh, that's for the second plant outside France, uh, and then Malaysia, and then uh, uh, China in uh, 2017, uh, and then and then another plant in the US uh, three years ago, uh, another plant in France, and. Uh, and this uh, here, we are opening almost two countries. Almost, I don't know which one will be the first one in Brazil, and here in uh, here in India. Okay. So we'll be uh, at the, within the next two years, we'll have uh, nine nine plants worldwide. So that's really the fact of becoming uh, local. It's it's better for for the planet. I mean, we we don't, you know, we don't bring uh, fruits, glasses, things, sugar. So we everything is uh, we so we start uh, early end of twenty five. So we, we have everything here, every flavors, sugar. So ninety five percent of our ingredients would be local, and we do the same in Brazil. Now it's the same in the U.S., same in, in Malaysia. So we serve uh, twenty countries around, and the same in China. So it's it's better for the planet, and the the sustainability for us is very uh, very very important. Uh, and the way we build plants, each time we we improve, it's, it's greener each time. You know, we we now we you have a specific uh, cement, which is green cement. Mm -hmm. We pay attention to uh, to roofs, to using uh, wood, uh, thing like that. So we learn, try to you know to be better. Uh, so it's a small uh, dot in the ocean, but it's yeah. Yeah, it's it's part of our world. What kind of investment you're putting in the market at the moment? Uh, the the plant, the global investment, we, is around the 300 core for the first step. I'm sure it will, uh, it will go, but this is the the first big investment for us, of course. But it's, we we believe in this market. And uh -huh. There's so much to do, you know. Just the beginning. So, and how uh, big is the employee base in Monaco? In terms of uh, people, number yeah. of people, yeah. so we, we passed a few months ago, we passed 1,000 people, okay. which is not big globally compared with huge, you know, big, big, big company. But mm -hmm. once again, we each plant is very uh, modern and very uh, a lot of automatism. We, we, the big majority of people is really uh, uh, behind the bar. Or selling a uh, selling solution to our customers who have more people in, in marketing and sales than really in production production we of course we have we have great people and uh, many in r d but in pure production there's not so not so many people a lot the machine are very automatic it's, uh, so it's more to we have more people to prepare but really to produce is it just maybe twenty percent of the of the people a bit more, but roughly. And lastly, what will give the next push for growth to modern? Uh, it's to go on with what we are we have been doing the last thirty years, you know, and not too bad. Uh, so as I told you, the eight, uh, ninth plant will this is the eighth plant, and the next one will be uh, almost together, almost at the same time, uh, Brazil, and uh, there will be a tenth one, but further in uh, in Africa, somewhere in Africa. Uh, and I think with those stands, it will keep us busy for, for a while. Uh, 
so, so we'll be able to, to be local, so to, put, to react also faster, to understand the needs and the uh, local needs uh, faster, so to be more effective and find new type of product maybe. You know, we are working on, we are, every plan has its own uh, R&D. So today we have already, we set, started, uh, uh, we have already our R&D team who have been for, for the last four years already before the plan to feel so they can feel, you know, the local needs. And we have like almost 10 different new product ready beside the Spice Jamun. We have more, more flavors uh, ready to be launched with the, with the new plan. Great. We'll just conclude if you could share your favorite flavor. So many, you know, out of 160 flavors, uh, it depends. I, lo I love uh, Spice Jamun, is, it's too new for me. I love uh, um, uh, strawberries, my, uh, one of my f f favorite, okay. it's more European uh, taste. Mm. Uh, here is mango. I love okay. mango fruit. Uh, so on the plant, we will uh, plant roughly 1,000 trees on, uh, close to the plant with different varieties of uh, mango, oh. just to show, you know, it's not, and, and for the employees, they mm -hmm. can have free mangoes if they want. <laughs> uh, so, uh, uh, yeah, I love vanilla, which is very good. It's a classic, but uh, we have also a vanilla plantation in uh, Madagascar. Uh, so we also tried now to to learn from uh, growing ourselves, not not the 160 flavors, mm -hmm. but big flavors or specific flavors, and, and we lo love that. And we are the only one in the in that industry to do that, and, and we learn so much you know, to do it. And the way we we grow it, 100% natural, no fertilizers. Uh, it's very also uh, very nice. Very, uh, I, lo I love. To, we love to learn. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. No, 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 no. Thank you very much. And please, I'm sure you're great.